Hello and welcome to a new weekly vlog. I've literally just closed out the last week's weekly vlog. But anyway, I'm just about to go into Sainsbury's to get uh, some food for us for the week. Last week was really, really bad. We had almost a takeaway every single night. We didn't do flab to fab because obviously if you watched last week's vlog, we had a little bit of a COVID related incident where Matt thought that that him, he got symptoms, turned out it wasn't, he took the test and the results came back all clear. So we didn't really feel like doing flab to fab on that day, it was a bit touch and go. So uh, we kind of just comfort ate almost the entire week. This week is going to be different, we are endeavouring to eat healthy, back to smoothies or pre-prepared meals. Matt cooked some pre-prepared meals to take last week to work which worked out really, really well. So um, I'm gonna go and do some shopping and get us set up for the week so that we can actually eat healthy and get back on track. In terms of flab to fab, I think what we're probably going to do is make flab to fab every other week because to be fair, we're kind of on a bit of a plateau and I think a lot of people are on the same kind of plateau that, that we're experiencing now. So what I will do on the week where we're not doing a live chat, I will leave um, a community post on Elliot and Matt's British Life and you can leave on there comments about if you've lost, maintained or, or gained weight. And obviously you can talk and respond to other people commenting as well. Um, so I think that's probably the way that we're going to do that going forward. Right, the cleaners in the house doing cleaning. Uh, Mum and Dad are still away on holiday in Turkey. Apparently the weather's really, really nice, of course, but the weather's not too bad here either. Um, and, and yeah, then I'll be going home and I've got some work to do. Lots and lots and lots of catching up to do. So whilst we're on the car park, I think I should probably show you uh, my car after it was kind of cleaned. Um, Cause I didn't show you, it's already got dirty. Can you believe it? There's already a mark on it, but they did clean it good. The tires um, have been cleaned up really, really good. And just for comparison on the car park, there is actually a version of what my old car was. The one in front, the silver one, that's actually what my old car was before this, a Volkswagen Polo. Right, back in the car and now it's time to go and see my nan and then it's time to go home and and get the little one out of out of nanny's because what I've done, what I've started doing in the last couple of weeks is putting Bo um, in my mum's conservatory, her orangery, whilst the cleaner is cleaning. So he's been locked up for a few hours now, so it's about time, once I've seen my nan, go home and get Bo out straight away. Hmm. Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday and this is what I've just been woken up with yes hello you've been sat on my chest you've been biting and licking my nose you've been dribbling on me you've been giving me cuddles this is literally my view hello sweetie you are gorgeous aren't you yes you are you come to see daddy Ooh, oops oh that's been covered in slobber <laughs> I've been covered in your little slobber. Yes, I have. Oh, baby. You're very moist. You're a wap. You are a wap. That's what you are. Wap, wap, wap. Good boy. Yes. Hey. You're a good boy. You are a good boy, aren't you? Are you looking at the feathers? Are you looking at the feathers? We've got the fan on. If you can hear any noise, we've got the fan going. Hey, sweetie. Right, you want me to get up? I think you do. I think you want me to get up. Hmm. Hi all, it is still Tuesday and it is the 15th of September 2020 and it is Prince Harry's 36th birthday. If you've just watched my Steps of Sussex live chat, you'll have seen that I've been doing some live baking. It's time to take it out of the oven, which I said I would share in the weekly vlog. And then I'll be going on later to Steps of Sussex to do um, whipping up all the cream in the final stages once it's cooled. So let's turn the camera around and get the cake out of the oven. Okay, so this is where I do my all important tests. So I put my knife in, I just put it down. If it runs clear, it's done. If not, it goes in for longer. I would say that's done, that's fine. Uh, so there we have it, that one is done. So here is the cake for uh, Prince Harry's birthday. Uh, it's cooled down now, so 
I'm about to cut it in half and whip up some cream and put some, some frosting on it and it should be really, really beautiful. Mmm, chocolate loaf cake. Hi everybody, it is Wednesday morning. I am just having a drink of coffee outside and I've just taken, uh, well, I've just let Bo come outside onto the onto the lower patio. We have Molly over here keeping keeping a careful watch on the boys. And we have a Rory, who's, I think, maybe trying to lead Bo off, but Bo is more interested in what's going on with the rattan furniture. Aren't you, sweetie? Yes, you are. Yes. So he's having a bit of an explore. I'm having my drink. Matt's gone to work. Then I've got more work to do later. So yes, busy day. And we've had a bit of a slow meander down to the bottom garden. And Bo has, has been really, really good. He's really, really good outside now. So he's just kind of lying with Molly. Molly's been good. She's been watching him as well. Haven't you, girl? Yes, I was talking about you. You heard your name. You did. Because you're very clever, and very intelligent, and you know when I'm talking about you. She even knows Bo's name. Like, we were actually talking to Bo, and she looked at Bo when we were talking about him. Because she's very clever, aren't you? So she's, she's learned Bo's name as well. Haven't you, girl? Yes, you have. Oh, Bobo, I really wouldn't try and pounce on Molly when she's relaxing. Why don't you relax as well? You have a nice little relaxez-vous, too. Rory's off somewhere. I think he's gone on the prowl. Oh, but Molly doesn't keep her eyes much off him. She likes to know where he is at all times. There we go. And Bo's just curious of everything, aren't you? Yes, you are, sweetie. So again, it's a really nice day and I'm just, well, I, I've not had a shower yet or anything, it's just bed hair. Uh, but I'm hoping I get all the documents through today from the um, driving vehicle people, because obviously changing my personal plate over. Um, so I'm hoping I get that back and then I can send things off and hopefully my car will go through. And hopefully I'll be able to get it on Friday. <gasps> Oh, Bobo's just pulled himself up on the chair. Uh, and we have a Molly Queen who is rubbing her teeth on the roses. Be careful of the thorns, girl. I think she knows. And cute little Bobo, just being all cute and lovely. Oh, look at him, he's gorgeous. Isn't he gorgeous? Yes. Yeah. Oh, look what we have here. Molly's gone to sit. <laughs> but will Bo be able to resist? Oh. <gasps> No, he jumped off. Oh, hey you. Hello, sweetie. What you doing? What are you doing? You're going to sit there. Okay. Good boy. Hi, everybody. It is Thursday. And oh, my goodness. The, uh, the car dealer rang me yesterday. Oh, by the way. Hello, orange socks. Um, yeah, the car dealer rang me yesterday. My car is actually ready today to collect. But... I haven't had all the paperwork through um, from the DVLA, which is the vehicle people here in the UK. So I'm waiting for it and it didn't come yesterday in the post. So I'm hoping it comes today. If it comes today, I will be able to go and collect my car today. If not, goodness knows how long. So I've sorted out all the insurance and, and all that kind of thing. So I literally am just waiting for this form to come in the post. So, I've just seen the, the postman's van drive up the street, so I'm eagerly awaiting. I am literally sat here in my bedroom waiting for the gate to open, and then I will be able to go down and see if the post is there. The article, the letter that I am waiting for is there. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> there he is, come back. Come back to me. Oh, he's across the road. Oh no, I am so disappointed. I really am. It was a letter, but it wasn't the letter that I needed. Ugh. Well, it better come tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, no, I felt like going to the postman and doing a hyacinth and saying, Postman! Postman! Excuse me, I, are you sure you don't have an express delivery for me? Ah, <sighs> but I resisted. <sighs> I can't cope with the strain. 
Hey everybody, it is Hi. Thursday and uh, Matt's taking us both out for lunch, well, for dinner. dinner, for dinner, for evening meal. Uh, and we've had to cancel um, the papers on your chat, we're going to reschedule it for tomorrow uh, because I've had a bit of a bad day, Wait. as you well know. And I can't tell whether or not that you can even see because of the sun. Um, but yeah, I've had a bit of a bad day. I didn't get my documents in the post, so I couldn't get my car, hopefully tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, I will show you some of the driving scenery. out the car, Matt's paying for parking and the smell, I can smell lots of food, it smells delicious and gorgeous uh, so yeah, we are, I am squinting because it's really really sunny uh, so we're going to go now and uh, get some dinner in, in um, a place we've been to before where I had my birthday meal See, I like to put mine in I'm weird, but I do like it in there. Thank you. I know it's a shot, but I do like it. Hello everybody and welcome to Friday. So it's the day after my disappointment about not being able to get my car, not having the documentation through. I'm literally just waiting for the post to come today. It's round about that time I've seen the post van in the street. So anytime now, I will find out whether or not I've got the correct documentation today to go ahead with the new car. But anyway, also literally just about five minutes ago, I had an order come through. Which I'm gonna open live for you now. Well, I can say live, obviously this is for the weekly vlog. So, um, I've ordered three pairs of jeans because my jeans were looking a bit um, tatty and kind of worn now. So I decided I needed some new ones. Basically the same as these. So kind of like super skinny, almost like skin tight skinny um, jeans. But I've ordered some, some different colors and uh, slightly different styles. So without further ado, let's get into them. They are from Legend London. And this is kind of like how they come um, in the pack. So we have a blue pair. Now I was wondering if this was different to the one that I'd already got. It seems a very similar colour, but I like this colour. So if I am going to replace these, this is the pair that's actually going to replace them properly. So let's remove that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I think these might be a little bit different. They are lighter. Look, if we compare, they are actually lighter in colour. I like them. They've got this nice kind of uh, like two-tone pattern. Some of them had like rips. You could buy rips, stylistic rips, which I didn't like. Um, but there we go. I think these look really, really cool. Uh, just so you can kind of see inside. I like these. These look really, really cool. Um, this is exactly what I was looking for. Let me just check if they have sent the correct size. Yes, that is the correct size. So it's 97% cotton. 3% lycra, which gives it this really nice flex. If you look, there is like a bit of a flex. We also have a baby here. Hello, Bo. Hello, he's playing with the with the wrappers. Right, so I will try these on later. They look really cool. I wanted also a dark pair, um, a black pair. So I've gone for the black pair. There was also a pair that I wanted that was out of stock, so I couldn't have it. Um, but these look really, really cool. There's also a white pair, which I should have had, I think, because that would have gone with my Diana fantasy with the, with the new jacket. But yes, again, another kind of, kind of like, like two-tone. These look really, really cool as well. Can't wait to try these on. I think that will be really good. Uh, they're roughly about £50 a pair, which I think is reasonable for jeans today. Now, these are the ones that are very, very different. These are the same things, they're jeans, but they're made to look a bit like a trouser. So 
when I'm kind of working in the day, I can feel a little bit more like they're workwear. So that was the aim of buying these ones. Let's see if I can get into it. And we'll see. In fact, these are the ones. Oh, now they do feel slightly different in terms of fabric. Are they, are they a different makeup? We'll check in a moment. Uh, but yeah, these, oh no, these are like trousers. But they're like, they're really skinny. <gasps> I like these. These look really, really cool. Just look at those. Uh, if you can kind of look, they look really, really cool. So I'll just check the, what they're actually made of. Uh, these are 71% polyester, 12% rylon, 12% nylon, and 5% spandex. Okay. Um, and again, they are the correct size. Wow, okay. I'm looking forward to trying these on. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a fashion walk. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, really interested in, in this. Okay. Now let's wait for the post. And whilst I'm waiting for the post, we'll just have a little look at Mr. Bobo. Hello, Bobo. Hey, sweetie. Oh no, that's my daddy's earphones. That's daddy's work earphones when he's editing the vlogs. Hey, what do you do? Oh, do you like the shiny? Do you like the crinkly? Are we liking the crinkles, mister? Okay. Right, well, we need to wait for the postman, don't we? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing with that paper? We need to wait for the postman. No. No. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir, we bob. No, no, no. What are you doing? Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there! What you doing? Hey, sweetie. Oh. Hi, everybody, Hi. and welcome to Saturday. I've got. I caught Matt's cold. All right. If you if you if you are a patron, you would have known from the patrons only chat yesterday, Friday. Um, but I've caught Matt's cold, so if I sound a bit weird, I've got a cold. All right. It's not COVID. Matt had a test. I've just caught his bugs. It's not he knows. Bundled up. That kind of thing. Um, so we're in the car, we're going to Matt's parents, and we're taking little one. Also, I'll turn the camera around and show you baby bird. Here he is. He really does love to travel. He's all relaxed. And eventually he falls asleep. So there we go. The weather's nice. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh no. He likes to chase them. He, yeah. He's killed loads of spiders. In our house. Yeah. Nope. No, just kills them. Just kills them and then bats them around like a ball. And then leaves them. And then leaves them in places for us to find. Oh. Ah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really funny. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey everybody and welcome to Sunday. We are just about to get ready and go out with my nan and my cousin. Uh, to have a Sunday lunch. I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, but I'm fine. Uh, just making a cup of coffee before we go. And this morning, well actually yesterday, while we were out at Matt's parents, the letter came, the form that I need to get my car on Monday tomorrow is actually here. So hopefully we will have a new car tomorrow on Monday. So I'm not sure whether I'll put that 
in next week's vlog or this week's vlog or, or make you wait a week I don't know we will have to wait and see but anyway coffee first for Nelly to finish off doing my hair and then we'll be going out um, for for a Sunday dinner um, then I've got a, a picture to open I ordered another painting that is here so I need to open that and I want to show you uh, what state the garden is in at the moment so we've still got a few things coming today on Sunday As you have seen, we've just come back from a really lovely Sunday lunch with my nan and my cousin. It was lovely, the food was lovely. I had this massive, massive, humongous ice cream. I thought it was only gonna be a little bit and it was huge. I didn't want anything too stodgy. So I, yeah, I knew. <laughs> anyway, it was huge and I did manage to eat it all. So we're home and um, my uh, painting came. This is the one that I ordered at the same time as, as this one, and um, only it's taken a lot longer to come. I think they were having issues with um, getting it framed because of people being off with COVID. You know the drill. But anyway, better late than never, it is here. So I am going to do um, a an unboxing, an, a reveal, a painting reveal. So uh, again, I had a bargain with this one. I had it in the sale. So, um, you know, it's it was a bargain. And I thought it would go nicely in the house. I haven't decided exactly where to put it. So um, let's just let's just get into it, I think is the is the correct thing to do. And then when I see it out, we will decide. It's not another zoo wang. It's it's different, this one. So let's um, in fact I've, I've even forgotten what frame I've even forgotten what frame I actually ordered. So it's gonna be a bit of a surprise when I actually uh, get it out. So let's just see if I can, I'm trying to think the best way of getting it out. I think the best way is to do it over here. Let me see, right, yes, I think this way. Because I don't want to do the painting any damage. So let's, they wrap them so well. As you, you may have seen my other painting reveals and um, they wrap them just, so well, I mean, they are so protective. So, we put corner pieces on and, ooh, 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 okay. Well, that's that new art. It always makes a mess, but never mind. Let's take, ooh, ooh, I ordered quite a nice frame. I like the frame I chose. You might not be able to see it yet, but you, I actually like it. Right, let's get these corner bits off. The same with this side. And get that open. And then once I've done this, I'm going to go and show you, for a final time this week, the garden. I mean, there's been a few changes, so um, with, with autumn being, being pretty much here. Right, okay, time, I think, for the painting reveal. Now, which way up is it? I think it needs to go this way. So, hello. Um, so, this is, um, again, it's a limited edition piece. And it is, it has a certificate of authenticity on the back. It's by artist Andrew Kinsman, and it's called The Woman's Calling, or no, The Woman Calling, it's called The Woman Calling. Um, and it is a canvas on board and was released in the spring of 2016. So there we go, this is a edition number 12. So there we go, it's 12. Um, 12 of 95. There we go. And it is signed by the artist. So, without further ado, let's do a reveal. Ta da! I'm hoping you can see because of the light. Ooh! Oh, I like it. Oh, I like the frame as well. Because it's always hard to tell when you're choosing a frame. But look, I love it. So, she's on a beach and she's writing. Uh, she's like a Victorian or Edwardian lady and uh, obviously her papers are being blown, blown out to sea. So I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I really do think it's gorgeous. 
So um, yeah, that's my new uh, painting and I need to decide where it's going to go. Will it look nice in here? It might actually look really nice in here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get Matt and we'll, we shall see where Matt thinks that it should go. But I do really, really like it. Let's see if we can prop it up there. Oh, no, I'll move it. Right, anyway, I like it. So um, I'm gonna get Matt and we shall decide where it's going to go. I just realised that it was weeks ago when I hung up this picture in the dining room, but I don't think I've actually showed it you up. So um, obviously this is my studio light here and there's my table. But if you look, that's kind of what it looks like from here. And I've just showed Matt the painting and he loves it. I've just propped it up on the bench for a while. But I do actually think if I just zoom out, I actually think this new one would look really, really nice in this space hanging next to Brenda because of it being a seascape. Um, so yeah, I remember buying it and not really knowing where I was going to put it, but I think I've chosen the frame really well. I like the kind of gray with the silver. That was all my choice. There was a, a variety of choices and that's what I went with. So I actually think that would look really, really nice on the wall next to Brenda, which means when I get my ship, my Royal Yacht Britannia framed, I don't know where that's going. We will have a think, we will think. Right, just going down the garden, I've got some of Matt's work shirts on the line drying, which is really, really nice to, to dry them. Um, it's the last of the sun, the sun's just setting behind the trees, and I thought I would, we'd have a little look. Let's go through the washing um, and look what's happening in the garden. So, um, things are ripening up. I don't think we're going to get any new fruits coming, but the ones that are here, they are beginning to ripen, and they're all at different varying stages. So. Uh, we will have a little bit of a harvest coming over the next few weeks. Uh, I mean, again, I don't think, you know, these flowers are going to turn into anything now. So pretty much, you know, some of these could probably come out. We have a big, massive fat cucumber there. And there's a couple of others amongst, in, in, in and amongst all of it. Uh, cucumber melons, there's still some to pick. The sweet peas need to come out of that pot now. They're all kind of dry and crinkly. In fact, I've actually stopped watering them now because we weren't going to get any any more sweet peas. They were a complete disaster. Hello, Rory. Hello, my sweet pea on my old car blanket. Um, Tumbling Tom, again, I don't think we're going to have any new ones, but there are still plenty to ripen, so they're doing well. The mint and all the herbs and things are doing well. I mean, again, uh, oh, yeah, we do have... We do have some some chilies. Um, again, they need to kind of ripen off. The uh, geraniums, uh, Matt's school geraniums, are losing. In fact, I could probably do with just deadheading them, basically. Oh, hello, Molly. How are you doing, sweetie princess? Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? Good girl. Yes, you're large and in charge. No, she's tiny. She's tiny and in charge. Oh, look. We finally have one of the Russian giants. Look, it might be tiny. It's more of a Russian mini than a Russian giant, I would say. But nevertheless, still beautiful. Um, these, these uh, begonias, beautiful colour. I mean, they are really, really stunning. Really, really, truly stunning. Um, the geraniums looking really cool as well. The ones that I grew from seed are still very, very tiny. So what I think I'm going to do is to pop them up um, and keep them in the greenhouse over winter. And hopefully I'll be able to pop them on next year. So maybe we'll get the benefits of those next year. These have definitely come since the bulk of the meadow has kind of died back. So what I'm actually finding is I'm getting some flowers through that perhaps were being a little, little bit suppressed by all the mass of, of the meadow. So... Um, again, some of this now needs kind of taking out and, and kind of putting, basically the garden needs putting away for the winter is kind of what needs to happen. Um, so again, this year has been a, a year of kind of mixed success with the garden. Um, some things have worked out good, some things not so great. The roses have done well uh, and they're still coming. I mean, they, they're still looking really, really beautiful. I need to do a little bit of deadheading uh, with those rose hips coming there. But we still have some roses to come out. Look at these buds. Still looking good. Um, I've watered today. Um, so yeah, I mean, we still have 
Princess Anne flowering. We still have some William and Catherine. We still have some Anne Boleyn, some teasing Georgia over there in the corner doing well. Um, so, so yeah, it, it's not too, it's not terribly too bad. Some more geraniums, which I can take out. These have come to the end. So, I mean, again, I need to probably take these out and get everything ready for the winter, get everything ready for the winter pansies or winter flowers, whatever it is I'm going to put in. But we still have quite a lot of, um, you know, we still have some life in the garden at the moment. The honeysuckle as well. If, if you have a look up here, we can see, see the honeysuckle in the damson tree. Um, and yeah, still lots and lots and lots of buds. So, so yeah, um, this is where we're at at the moment in the garden and um, next week I think will be from Monday onwards will be winding down the garden ready for winter. So I think I'm gonna have to tease you for one more week so the car the new car will not be in this week's vlog I'm gonna actually uh, close this week's vlog out maybe with the help of Rory I don't know um, but yeah if you've enjoyed this week's vlog please give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to share on social media and also of course do hit the bell so that you know whenever we all upload a new video Matt's inside uh, doing some planning for work tomorrow so from us in Shropshire to you all and goodbye